Laszlo, everybody. I also brought you a uh, straight jacket. Oh, really? Yeah, we saw from, that. From an actual psychiatric catalog. And strangely, they're not cheap. <laughs> I guess they have to go through all sorts of product testing or something, but... Um, and uh, this would be a great opportunity to introduce uh, uh, Twitchell to the show. Where did Jimmy go? He's all right? He's doing fun. For what? Here, put Twitchels oh, in these bloody scrubs yeah. so he looks completely psycho. Uh, all right, we got Twitchels outside the studio. We couldn't get him on the first half of the show because yeah. we were very, very busy. Here he is. Uh, Twitchels, everybody. Louis Twitchell Centani. Uh, yes. What's up, Twitchels? Let's put him over there. Oh. Well, not next time, right? No, one I found it. Uh, maybe I shouldn't say what I want to say. <laughs> you know, <laughs> you know something. Know. Whenever you say that, I, I you broke, should. I broke the rule. I know. I broke the <laughs> opening answer rule. Uh, there's a guy that works in this building, and he's a very nice guy, but he's uh, extremely, okay. extremely disabled. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> That's as far as I'm going to go. He's extremely disabled, and freaking Twitchells, who's who's a mess. Is in the elevator with the guy go going. He's like nudging me, like, oh, look, look, look. Jeez, Twitchels. I never saw anything like it. It was like a little hand. All right, just oh, keep well, it there. Oh, we understand. I think, a, I think he's a huge fan of the show, but too. Geez. Oh, no, I wasn't making fun of the guy. I'm just tr I'm trying to be, whatever. But the point is that you have a pretty serious disability, but you have no problem looking at someone else that has probably, in your eyes, a worse disability. Yeah. I, right? I didn't say it was worse. <laughs> I'm sure people look at me and laugh at me all the time. Not that I was laughing at the guy. You were kind of laughing. <laughs> you, you were. You kind of nudged me and gave me a little little smile. It was like, one of those laughs he tried to hide. You just wanted to bond a little bit. I was trying we, to bond, we were, bond with we were bonding a little bit in the elevator, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> That's Tourette for I missed you. Yeah, now, it's been uh, a while. What's this? What's wake? Oh, or bro, awake. Called awake. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, drink plenty of yeah, that. Drink some awake and almond. Do I see almond joys? Ooh. You like these. We kind of did the chocolate bit already, but we also know that uh, uh, for some odd reason, uh, Twitchell's can't get enough of almond joys. Especially Loves mixed them. with awake. Huh? Awake I and almond joys. So, uh, Laszlo got a little info on Twitchell's, right? Just before showtime, Laszlo? <laughs> yeah, we hear tell, because uh, Laszlo has a straight jacket. Just gotta get the other camera up. <laughs> Laszlo has a straight jacket. Uh, With Manhunt 2 on the side. Yeah, Manhunt 2 on the side. Especially, uh... But it's a real straight jacket. That they came from, like, a straight jacket store. <laughs> right. <laughs> That's pretty cool. They get, that they actually have those is amazing. It's 2007, for fuck's sake. Yeah, saying. I can't believe that. The, I mean, these things have been around for 300 oh, years. Forever. It's like, hey, he's crazy. Wrap his works. arms around him. <laughs> Get the long sleeve Wrap his thing. arms around him. Yeah, with the long sleeves to tie the knot. Great. Now, apparently, that was um, brought to uh, Louis Twitchell Santani's attention. And, and, uh, Louis Twitchell Santani replied. The look replied, on his face was yeah. interesting when he saw it. Yeah, yeah, like familiarity. Right. And then he said he was indeed familiar with a straight jacket. Uh, <laughs> but he did but he did not want to talk about it on the air. I don't know what you're talking about. Which means about. he basically told Laszlo but keep it between you and I. Yeah. Right. No, no, I should. Laszlo immediately knowing it would be a uh, good radio ran to us and told us. I don't even think Laszlo <laughs> waited a second. I, I was in a That's show how much once. he cares about you. I was in a show once where I wore one. That's all. A show? A show. So they told you it was a show? They told you it was a show? Is that it? And everyone from around the land came to see you? Uh, yeah. Right. One of those kind of shows? <laughs> a show that also included electroshock therapy? It was wonderful. And your cellmate flinging it's... feces at you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, some show. No, it was one of those Halloween-type shows. They actually had it here at so Madison what... Square Garden, they called it Madison Scare Garden. Yeah. It was the same company that did it. Uh, the I get it. So why wouldn't you, you know. uh, want to talk about that? Uh, no, I didn't say I didn't want to talk about it. You told he's, me he's a compulsive I don't liar, want to talk remember. about it. <laughs> Were you in a mental hospital? Be honest. <laughs> say that again? Mental hospital. <laughs> what about it? You, you, were, you were in there once. <laughs> I'm not nah. gonna say. I'm not gonna say no. I'm not nah. gonna say no. Well, look, I'll just say I'm a little familiar with these places in my own life here. Not me right. personally, but I'm familiar with these places. So let's have a little conversation. Were you or were you not in a mental hospital? Uh, yes. For what? Uh, it was it was years ago. OCD. Years ago. Uh, uh it's it's touchy. It's. <laughs> Did you go crazy? 
Not really. A nervous breakdown? How do, but if you're having a nervous breakdown, who can tell? Well, <laughs> <laughs> he's calm and he just says like really s smart, insightful things. Right. We put him in. <laughs> well, you know how I was a lot bigger. Yeah, you know. Yeah. You, how much like, you were a disgusting fat body. <laughs> I was a oh, miserable 300 pounds. Yeah. Uh, that was my peak. Yeah, the video on True Life of you as a fat guy was kind of creepy. <laughs> and and go we don't figure, know you that way for, uh, as being fat guy. <laughs> right. Did and, you get the stomach stapling? <laughs> no, I didn't. I lost all the weight on Atkins, but my mistake was not exercising while I did it. That's why I have all the loose skin and saggy uh, tits. The exercise doesn't get rid of that, my friend. <laughs> it, just, the Either. skin can only stretch so much before it's not going to come back. Right, right. That's they the said, problem. Well, they said it's dead. <laughs> and that, the that actual it, skin's dead? Yeah, they said if it hangs over, in my case, it hangs like at least two and a half, three inches <laughs> over my uh, over my pelvis area. Your so, cock. <laughs> over my cock. <laughs> and it holds it there. <laughs> and they said, <laughs> because it's been hanging for more than a year, it won't contract back no matter how much I work out, go to the gym. Yeah. I don't know why that signified working the out. The girls are horrified <laughs> out there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, we got penthouse pets here, too. Mm -hmm. We got a very busy They're show. They're very, for us, very yeah. attractive ladies. Beautiful. But anyway, yes. so, so why the mental hospital? <laughs> well, at that time, at that point in time, <laughs> it's weird. I never talked about this before. Wow, she looks uh, like a young uh, Anna Nicole Smith <laughs> before Anna Nicole Smith fucked up her body. <laughs> Dude, you get cameras today after. This is the first yeah. time seeing the new oh, studio. Yeah. I love it, by oh, the way. Oh, yeah, this is high-tech shit. <laughs> so you were in mental hospital. Uh, was it a suicide attempt? I, I, I guess you could say that. I think it was more <laughs> of a cry for attention. I don't think I really had the intentions of doing it. I was, uh, it was the, the first time, I think I was around 14, 14 years old, <laughs> and <laughs> I don't know. This is the first time I'm talking about it. It's kind of weird. What well, happened? Well, you it know. It's kind of, I don't know. It's good to get to know the Twitchell's yeah. Louis Santani person, or Louis Twitchell Santani. <laughs> How does the person with Tourette's try to kill himself? <laughs> well, he just holds a hot cup of coffee. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, did I tell you that happened to me? I was at Wawa getting a cup of coffee, and someone walked by me who recognized me, and as I'm pouring the coffee, yells, jump. <laughs> I literally spilled the coffee all over me. It was horrible. Hey, can we get hot scolding water, please? <laughs> I want to try some stuff with him. So what happened? How did you try stuff? to kill yourself? Well, like I said, I was heavy, really heavy at the time. That had a lot to do with my depression. I mean... Having Tourette's is already a downfall, but being a fat kid with Tourette's made it worse. <laughs> so I had a bunk bed, and I tied a piece of rope around the bunk bed, <laughs> and uh, kind of, I was a Boy Scout, but not a good Boy Scout, so I wasn't great with the knots, but I didn't make a noose, but I pretty much tied the other end around my neck. No, you're... <laughs> I'm being serious. That's why I never Wait talk a, about but this. But most people are, are good with knots, so you... It was a cry for help. But if you really wanted to yeah. kill yourself, you would have figured out a knot. I think so. So, I get to the top of the bunk bed. I made it short enough. I... Did you lower my eyes out, sitting on there for at least 15 minutes, Jeez, sitting on the top scene. of the bunk bed with the rope wrapped around my neck. <laughs> the bunk bed was crying too, by the way. <laughs> yeah. Well, at that time, I was 14. Oh, but I'm fine. Cha -cha. That's lovely. <laughs> you actually brought hot water. Yeah, could you just hold that hot water? Nah. <laughs> nah. Wow, that's scolding too, Danny. <laughs> so you're on the top of the bunk crying bed. Crying your eyes out. <laughs> just over debating pounds. whether to do it. I think I kind of knew in the back of my mind that. <laughs> I, it wouldn't work even if I tried it, but I, I just didn't know what to do. <laughs> I I put my legs over the bed, and I feel it to make sure it's taut, the rope, <laughs> and I jump off the bed. <laughs> I broke the rope and the railing of the bunk bed as I went down. You That's so how fat, fat I was. That, you were so fat that oh. you fucked up killing yourself. And my mom <laughs> came into the room and saw me lying there on the floor, so they heard a thud because my room was upstairs. <laughs> Please tell me you were That's naked on top of it. <laughs> I was in my boxers and a, and a, and a yellow t-shirt. I don't remember that. But uh, there I am, lying on the floor in my bedroom with the broken pieces of the bunk bed lying around me with the rope still around my neck. And the other end's loose now because it broke off the bunk bed. And my mom walks in. And she we've had these incidents before, never that to that extent. But she's used to me, you know, going ballistic at that time with, with the serious depression. So she walks in the room, sees me there, sitting there around all the uh, broken pieces of the bunk bed, obviously knowing what I tried to do, and says, come downstairs, dinner's ready. <laughs> <laughs> and I went downstairs and ate dinner. And, and it, it's, it's weird, because that's 
always been like the way my family's been uh, about Ashamed things like you? that. Yeah, yes, absolutely. <laughs> or just pretend it doesn't exist, right? <laughs> Try to hide from it, you yeah, know? Sweep yeah, it under the carpet. Yeah, just make it go away. Sergeant G from Iraq, he's good for a few every day. He writes, uh, sounds like Twitchell's is fucking something. <laughs> <laughs> he is the listening audience. <laughs> <laughs> Your ratings. Um, so, all right. So, uh, you, so that, that, how does it go to a mental hospital situation? Yeah. Well, <laughs> a week later, I just kept talking about it, and they took me. Uh, at that point, I was seeing doctors at least once a week, <laughs> and they brought it up at, at the next doctor's visit. <laughs> and next thing you know, I'm not leaving the doctor's office, going home. I'm leaving with uh, people going to a place and that was uh, why are my first things time. in front of him who are you talking to it about all you your friends spit on them huh <laughs> yeah. so what but you went in there for what Depression? oh because no so they, my mom and dad brought up what happened the bunk bed incident mm. this is this is later they thought it should be brought up the, the bunk bed incident <laughs> <Dad! Yes. Yeah>. <laughs> oh <laughs> And as soon as the doctor heard that, he said, "No question about it. You need, you need, you need help. You need to go. You, you need." He said, "You stressed the fact that he needed inpatient, so it wasn't something I could just go and come home." Yeah. And how long were you in the mental hospital? <laughs> Eat another almond joy, or almond. It'll make you feel better. Almond joy. Mm, that yeah. must have uh, been a little traumatic, <laughs> being in the loony bin there. Uh, <laughs> Just with, a chad. With, with Tourette's. People make funny in there. Well, it was weird line. because I was like, "Why am I here?" And I'm in there with the place. This one girl that was there had attempted suicide. Well, that's but what you she, were in there that's for. Why you were in there. But she did it with a gun. Yeah, see, she shot no herself pussy. in the head, and the bullet, I guess, was one of those cases where it didn't kill her, and the bullet was still in her. She's talking about this in, in therapy. Bullet's still in her head. Okay. She killed herself, or tried to kill herself. I got chocolate on the mic. Oh, please don't ever use that mic again. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay. He, he's spitting out chocolate as he discusses his suicide. <laughs> so she tried to shoot herself in the head and still survived. And there I have to tell my story about the bunk bed. It just it was weird, you know. But that's the type of people I was in there with. Did you make up an imaginary friend and keep repeating the same numbers over and over again, and then later on when you dug up the big metal thing in the ground, they were it was on that big metal thing? <laughs> Something like that. So how many times have you tried to kill yourself? <laughs> yeah, a very deep lost reference. Of course. Uh, that, that, was, that was pretty much it. Yeah? All right. How long are you in the metal house? These are good. How long are you in the middle? Those are delicious, Jimmy. I normally don't eat them, but I'm in the chocolate kind of How you been, today. by the way? I'm good, thank you. Good? Uh, this is good to hear. Oh, uh, we just lost. A guy had some info. Some radio station's doing something called the Baby Bird or something. Mm. Hopefully that guy can call back. I was just about really? to go home and we lost him. All right, and we also have penthouse uh, pets uh, outside the They look the very, look very good. We got the Manhunt guy playing Manhunt from Rockstar. Wow. I, all I see is just blood, man. <laughs> yeah, now, now he's just bludgeoning someone in the corner. That's Are you still wonderful. in the S&M club? <laughs> no, I've moved on from the S&M club. Oh, yeah. good. Oh, yeah, yeah, now. I've district. moved on. The red light district. <laughs> yeah, do you ever kill a hooker nice. in this one? <laughs> no. Is that you running with the weed thing? Yes. Why don't they make you run with the weed thing? There's our man! Oh, that's how you run? No. no. <laughs> he, he moved his hands real fast like he was running. Delicious. All right, well, we're uh, good. we got Manhunt playing <laughs> the whole time in the background. Mm. We'll keep going back to you, so just keep playing the game, bro. <laughs> you get paid to do that, so you might as well just uh, do it, I guess. All right, well, that sucked. To hear the Opie and Anthony show five days a week, live on satellite radio, online on your phone or tablet, or even on demand, go to SiriusXM.com. Also, interact with the Opie and Anthony show on Twitter, at Opie Radio, at Anthony Cumia. And at Jim Norton.